we are still able to own a part of someone else. The Pure Human project is based on a leather-like fabric derived from human genetic information. So it would be like a um, leather factory on a chip. Yeah. I'm Darren Nesbeth, I'm a synthetic biology lecturer here at UCL. Tissue engineering would work introducing into the body or perhaps into the scaffold the framework for those cells to repopulate and ultimately regrow a new tissue. So, I mean, this goes back to medieval times and people selling tons and tons and tons of finger bones from the same saint. I think the only leather I would wear would be made of my own cells. I'm Ernst, I tattoo. It's the same thing, you wear like dead skin every day, just like at least humans can say yes or no if they are alive. Biosynthetic fabrics have the potential to be more sustainable automatically than the rather energy inefficient process of feeding, let's say, cows to get leather. First of all, I don't think that it's going to be victimless. You know, there'll be human labour, animal derived materials. I'm Aron Katz, uh, I'm the director of Symbiotica at the University of Western Australia. Myself with Jonat Zur have grown leather in vitro back in 2004 and we've done it quite a few times since. So the technology is there. We can start to see those luxury products coming out to the market very soon. Once biological material is extracted from the body, it doesn't belong to anyone anymore, not even the person from who it was isolated. There's a major issue with the way the intellectual property regime is operating at the moment. The skin, I think, it's a media for sure. That's some tattoos I've done, I've never seen again. But I still own the design, and if I want to do this drawing again, it's my right. Even though the legislation stated isolated genetic information can't be patented, you can go around this kind of thing and patent a material that uses this genetic information slowly by genes and then by larger organs, people are allowed to own a person, like it happened in the slavery days. Given time in the future, you could synthesize Elvis, synthesize a personality for him. If we instrumentalize life to such an extent that life becomes a raw material, it will not be long before we will start to treat other more complex living systems all the way to humans with a similar mindset. But is it 100% human skin? It's Mercury. way more human. No, 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 no. Is it not? Is it synthetic? Oh, your jacket is so awesome. Yes, yes, yes. It's more expensive, I know. But I'm a thing that's organic human. By definition, whatever you enhance, if it's come to the next generation, would become obsolete. Any attempt of us to try and control another autonomous system is by definition exploitative and violent. We have to make our decisions what level of violence and exploitation we're willing to be implicated. Yeah, this is a robot, that's yeah. a robot, and the other level there's a robot. There'll probably be a lot of bad things happen along the way. You have to learn painfully, drop the bad and keep the good. It's obvious that our cultural perception of life is increasingly becoming incompatible with what we, we choose to do to life through technology. But if we learn how complex biology operates, if we try to actually biologize our means of production rather than try to industrialize our biology, we might still have hope. I'm Tina Goyant and I'm the designer behind the Pure Human Project. This is not fiction, this is reality.